Hello and welcome to my channel Value Creators. We all have learned in school that gravity is the force of attraction between the two bodies. The magnitude of this attraction depends on the masses of the bodies and the distance between them. The greater the mass and the smaller the distance between the two bodies, the greater will be the force of gravity. We also know that gravity is one of the weakest fundamental force of nature and will have the same effect on all objects. It is gravity that keeps the earth and other planets in their orbit around the sun and life on earth would not be possible without gravity. All these things are well known facts. But what if, if I say that gravity is not a force and it is just an illusion? So my dear friends, before we deep dive into the subject, if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed yet, then I would request you to subscribe and share this channel with your friends and colleagues as we always bring informative and interesting videos. The quest to know about gravity started thousands of years back. However, it was not until Sir Isaac Newton in 1687 published his Universal Law of Gravitation that we began to understand this natural phenomenon of the universe. According to the Universal Law of Gravitation, the force that pulls objects towards the Earth's surface is the very same force that causes the motion of the planets. His conclusion was based on the fact that if we take an object away from the Earth's surface and throw it in a straight line with the right energy, the object will try to continue in the path you threw it, but the Earth's gravity will restrict it from going away. This will result in object orbiting around the Earth just like the Moon or Earth around the Sun. Undoubtedly, it was one of the great discoveries of all times, but it failed to explain the peculiar orbit of Mercury around the Sun. Researchers and other physicists knew that the orbits of planets shift over time, but were puzzled when they observed that the Mercury orbit shifted faster than Newton predicted through his universal law of gravitation. This particular discrepancy was a mystery until 1915 when Einstein proposed his theory of space and time. It was a new theory of gravity in which mass of an object determines the curvature of the space-time and that curvature in turn control how the object will move. His general theory of relativity suggests that gravity is not a force but a feature of space-time itself. Wow, it is complex, isn't it? But I will try my best to explain this concept in the easiest way possible. So let's start with the Einstein concept of equivalence principle. Imagine you are standing in the elevator cabin and completely isolated from the outer world. Next, you have to conduct an experiment of dropping the object on the floor. As expected, the object will fall down and reaches the floor as it would have on the Earth's surface. Do you think the effect will be the same if you are far from the Earth's surface and subjected to the gravitational field similar to that of Earth? It is not necessary that you will experience the same effect. Theoretically, you may be in a deep space far away from the gravitational influence of any significant mass concentration. The cabin you are standing in can be inside a rocket that is accelerating at 9.8 meter per second square. In such a scenario, if you drop off an object, the cabin floor would accelerate towards that object at 9.8 meter per second square, exactly the same acceleration as that an object would have experienced during free fall here on Earth. Now you as an observer standing inside a cabin floor can hardly differentiate these two situations. From your frame of reference, these two situations will be indistinguishable. Consider you are in an enclosed elevator which is under free fall. It will be very difficult for you to tell that you are under the influence of any gravitational field or far away from all stars and planets somewhere in the deep space. This is because of the fact that everything inside the elevator and elevator itself appears to move with the same acceleration as per your frame of reference. So no influence of gravity could be detected. Everything inside the elevator will move at a constant speed or keep their relative positions just as they would have in the gravity-free region of the space. I would also like you to think, when you are under a free fall, it is you who is accelerating towards the Earth's surface or the Earth's surface is accelerating towards you. Think over it. This is the same kind of weightlessness experienced by astronauts on the International Space Station. It is not that the space station has escaped the Earth's gravitational field. At that altitude, the pull of the gravitational force is still sufficient enough to keep the space station in its orbit. The astronauts' weightlessness is because, along with their station, they are also in a free fall. Not in the kind of free fall that takes them directly towards the Earth, but in free fall that takes them around the Earth's orbit. If you closely look into these three situations, you can say that, first, 
we cannot decide whether we are in a gravitational field or not second even in a gravity free region of space object will fall towards the flow if the room we are in is being accelerated third even in a so called gravitational field object drift weightlessly through space as long as the object is in free fall in other words in free fall the effect of gravity is totally abolished as the object remains in the inertial frame of reference till it hits the ground Einstein was convinced that no physical experiment no laws of physics can tell us whether we are in free space or in a gravitational field so as per the principle of equivalence effect of gravity and acceleration are indistinguishable in other words force of gravity is just acceleration in some sense Einstein's principle of equivalence gave a boost to his general theory of relativity According to the general theory of relativity gravity is not a force rather it is a geometric phenomenon that arises from the curvature of the space time we will use a simplified analogy to understand this concept let's take a two dimensional surface to simulate a four dimensional space time imagine a two dimensional plane reflecting an empty space with no forces acting between the bodies floating around if there are no forces then classical mechanics and einstein mechanics of special relativity will be in agreement Under these circumstances bodies move along the straightest possible line with a constant velocity. Now let's say under some circumstances they diverged from their parallel trajectory and started to come closer to each other. Then as per classical physics it must be because of some force acting on them. As per Newton's law of universal gravitation the gravitational force could have caused such an effect. However there could be another possibility. where these two bodies could still be moving on a straightest possible lines not in the same plane but on a curved surface in this situation even if they are moving in a straight line they could still converge at some point due to the distortion of space time this exactly what einstein's theory of general relativity tells us the analogy we discussed so far points us towards the concept of space time geodesics as we know that there are no straight lines on the surface of a sphere the geodesics is a space time line that is as straight as possible this is very much similar to the shortest path between any two points on earth which is not a straight line but an arc of a great circle by the way space time is a mathematical model that combines the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time into a single four dimensional manifold it is difficult to visualize the space time geometry but we can understand this by a simple analogy let's consider space time is a sheet of rubber uh, or trampoline that can be deformed if you don't put any object on the sheet the complete surface of the rubber sheet will not have any curve or depression similarly any region on the space time is uncurved if it is far away from any massive cosmic object such as stars or planets however the presence of a massive cosmic object curves the space time this can be simulated by placing a heavy ball on a rubber sheet to create a cup like depression if you will place a small marble near the depression then it will roll down the depression as if it has been pulled by a force in addition to this if the marble is given a sideway push it will move in an orbit around the heavy ball as if a constant attraction is pulling the marble towards the ball and is allowing it to swing in a closed path the distortion of the space time is not only because the mass of the object but also due to its energy inner tension or pressure if you have understood this then you will agree to the fact that gravity does not deflect objects from their straight line motion it is space time geodesics that redefines the path of an object in a certain way Similarly our earth is also moving in a straight line and it is space time geodesics that redefines its path to move in an orbit around the sun in addition to this any object when under free fall will also move along the space time geodesics as per american theoretical physicist john wheeler matter tells space time how to curve and space time tells matter how to move So in summary as per the general theory of relativity gravity is not a force but a curvature of space time and gravitational field don't exist With this I will leave you with the biggest question is gravity an illusion If you believe that this video has added any value to you then I would request you to like share and subscribe this channel till then I will wait to meet you again with a new and interesting video